Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red M. Red Dead Online RP, whatever you want to call it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, we should have gotten all the lag for the streaming issues resolved, so today should be quite a bit better than the last couple days. Um, there was an update with OBS that makes everything function like it's supposed to. Uh, but we are playing on our Red M private server right now. And we've added quite a few things, and things that we haven't gotten to showcase before because OPS, OBS was being poopy. Uh, but I do hope you all enjoy today's live stream. If you do, and you want to see more Red M stuff, make sure to slap that like button, show it some love. Greatly appreciate the support. It, uh, it helps out a lot. And we've been working on this for the past week. And um, got a lot done, got a lot of stuff added. Quite a few different scripts. We've got gold panning and boxing, uh, which we did the gold panning video earlier today. But I just want to show you all how it's going to function um, when it's not in the testing environment. So we're going to do some gold panning today. We're going to mess with boxing. If we get anybody else in, we're actually going to mess around with the robbery and sheriff system that's currently in the game. So you guys might be able to see me get sent to jail today if I get caught, which is a legitimate thing. If you do things that are outside of the RP environment, or you murder people or do anything, then the sheriffs can put you in jail for any time they see fit. Um, they can put you in jail and they can send you legitimately to prison as well. So let's go ahead and pull out our horse here. We want the thoroughbred brindle. Back that up. Am I doing any more Monster Hunter stories? Um, not unless they do an update, but there is another Monster Hunter um, gotcha game coming out soon. What's going on, Melanie Jane? How you doing? Dangle Wolf, Claire Phillips, Captain Johns, Justin Roy. What's going on? How are you guys doing today? Uh-oh, my horse, I believe, is inside of the tent. Poor horse. How did you even get in there, dude? <laughs> I got you, bro. We got this. Maybe. Can I get you out? I don't know if I can no-clip with, uh... Nope, I can't. All right, horse is kind of kind of stuck. Hold on, let's see if I can get it out. <laughs> Lucian Eldridge, what's going on? Thank you for the super chat. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you kindly for the support. Soxel, thank you for the support. Uh, I guess we'll call out the Tennessee chestnut, or we're just gonna have to not right now. I'll steal somebody else's horse. My poor horse. Scott Lumbago! Justin! Thank you for the corgi booty shake, you magnificent human, you. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ian Walls, I'm doing well. How are you? We're gonna steal this guy's horse. There's no sheriff's on right now to mess us up for doing it, so... Um, and Dylan White, I do believe that they're going to, um... I don't know if they're necessarily going to go out of their way to fix the Red M stuff, but I do think it's going to eventually get fixed. I think what they changed um, was in an effort to fix some of the hacking that's been going on in Red Dead Online. And although I don't know why it would mess with the check for ownership of the game, because uh, basically what Red M does is it verifies that you own the game and then it launches... Uh, the Red M session, which allows you to play on Red M servers. You do have to own the game to be able to play Red M. And whatever they changed, like, uh, a week or two ago on the last PC update, uh, changed how Red M is able to verify ownership. Um, so basically, if you had Red M launched before that happened, you're able to create an account and verify your ownership, but now you can't. Um, but hopefully it'll be fixed. There's a couple different ways to fix it. It might kind of screw over the Rockstar launcher owners um but i'm pretty sure they'll be able to get it to work with steam and epic game store but rockstar social club stuff might be out the window but heather thank you for the super chat break every law i'm trying to be good trying to be a good boy panning for some gold what's going on alex lock thank you for the super chat heather thank you for the super chat i greatly appreciate it what's going on d justin roy so we've got a gold panning station over here. We're going to go check that out. But man, our um, our server just runs so nice. We're adding so much. Oh, we added fishing. Hold on, I can show you that. Uh, I think I own the fishing pole, so we can do some 
some fishing here real quick. It's a pretty lucrative way to make money. Let me go ahead and whip out the handy dandy fishing poles. So uh, to be able to do everything in Red M had to create a whole new inventory system. Everything in Red M has to be scripted from scratch. So there's a lot of work that goes into it and it doesn't really function quite the same as like single player but we do have the bread bait here which our character has now attached it and now that we have attached the bait we can actually start fishing and we have like a little mini game that we play rather than doing like the, the standard like red dead redemption 2 or red dead fishing um so what you do is you hold the left mouse button and you'll see this this bar that's growing on the left hand side and on the right side uh the bar is shrinking basically the goal is to get the left-hand bar almost maxed while getting the green bar all the way down. And if you can accomplish that without maxing out the left bar, you catch a fish. We just caught an extra or one large fish. So that's the current fishing system right now. Now, once you catch fish, you have to take them to Van Horn to sell them. Um... And to take it to Van Horn, you just gotta... It's, it'll go into your inventory, so we got that large fish in there. And you can collect as many fish as you want, and then eventually just take it to Van Horn to sell it. Uh, Asmo, what's going on? I might just have to get Red Dead Redemption 2 so I can play in your private server. Well, don't get it just yet. Wait until Red M's fixed. Um, I'm gonna show off the gold panning here in a second. I'll whip out the handy-dandy fishing rod. I'm just gonna catch one more fish while we're here. The legendary Van Horn Rad. What's going on, Chad? How are you doing today? Man, yeah, we've done a lot of work on this server. I can't wait. We were going to actually open it up for open applications this weekend. Because uh, we got so much done. But... Um, you know, the whole Red M thing happened, so... We'll be opening up the... Oh, I've got one small fish. Boo! Want them big fishes! This is only available for PC. There will never be any console stuff. It's exactly the same as GTA RP, just in the Red Dead universe. <clears throat> um, but yeah, lots and lots of exciting stuff. We'll probably have a couple of our other testers pop on during the stream, so I might get robbed. Uh, if I break the law, I might get arrested. I don't know where they all are, but they're in the world doing their own thing. So, um... We'll kind of see if we get any interactions today. But right now, I just want to show off the, the gold panning here. Because now we have it set up for, like, what the official release will be. Which means um, there's going to be a little bit more of a process for panning for gold. Of course, it's almost nighttime already. Um, but you can go right here and we can fill up our bucket with water. Water and sand and stuff. And then we walk over to the panning station. Now you can do one of two things. So you can pour your bucket in here like this. And then you can immediately go panning for gold. Uh, so you could try and do that one chance to see if you get any gold in there. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this bucket up a few times. And then we can pan for gold a few times. Because we're not going to get gold every time. There's a chance to get gold. Uh, so the more times you fill the station up, the more chances you'll be able to get gold. And Sheriff rule sounds fun. Yeah, so uh, I actually have handcuffs in my inventory for when I do Sheriff things. So you can actually handcuff people. You can take them to jail and put them in the jail cell for as long as you want. Or you can actually send them to the penitentiary and they'll have to serve, serve their time out in the penitentiary. And you can actually set the amount of time that they go to the penitentiary for. So if you want them to be in there for an hour, you can set it for an hour. If you want them to be in there for a couple days, if they really done effed up, then they can be in there for a couple days. So there's actually repercussions for being a dick in the game. Which is what we've needed in Red Dead Online for like the longest time. I'm just going to fill this up a few times. See if we get any gold. Hopefully we don't get robbed. I'm on, just heading back into Valentine. So Captain John's is a sheriff. 
So if I do any robberies, he can potentially um, arrest me. Uh-oh. I think I have to... Did they... Oh, I think they moved the script around. I have to reload the script. Um, oh, come on. They had somebody working on the server before this. I just realized that the, uh, the script wasn't fully working. I should have checked that before. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to reload the script, and then it's going to work fine. That's annoying. <laughs> I didn't realize they moved it. Uh, just give me one second. Thankfully, I can do this without making the screen dark now. Downloads. <clears throat> but I hope everybody's doing well. Hey, Ian, what's going on, man? The original Matt. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, so let's see here. Reload. Um... Gold underscore. Cannon. Um... Ah, uh, restart. There we go, that's what it is. A little bit of a process sometimes. This is why we gotta do the testing, but I'm pretty sure they moved the, the folder that it was in, which is why... It's not working. Alright. Gold. Or they just completely moved it. Resources, tour. Sorry, everybody. Just give me a moment here. Other. Gold panner. Okay. Sorry, they moved the, uh, the script around. Oh. <laughs> All right, now we're good. <sighs> I'm able to find steam. Okay. One second. We're not good until we have waffles. <laughs> Lies. Waffles are a lie. There it is. Okay. Now why couldn't they have just left it alone? You want duels? Uh, well, we do have boxing, so that's cool. Alright, we're just going to give it a second for it to relaunch. Sorry, everybody. Going to take a second for the server to reload. Ooh. How will you speak to other love players? There's going to be a... I mean, that's kind of common sense, but <laughs> you're going to talk to them? 
Uh, they'll be using uh, uh, TeamSpeak with a, a script that makes it recognize what players are near you. See if it connects. Not yet. Did they turn it off again? I just gotta restart 5M. Okay. Sorry, hold on. We're just waiting for the server to go back up. There we go. Or... Do, 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 do. Somebody, one of the developers was working on the server at the same time, so... That's what's going on now. Hey, Tress, welcome back. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Well, thankfully, that should be the last disconnection of the, uh, <laughs> of the stream. I can make a new character at some point and we'll do... Actually, I'll just go to Strawberry because there's a gold panning station right outside of Strawberry. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize they were working on stuff. Um, that was probably my bad there. I didn't see any commands or anything being run when I logged in, so... Skunk! Stupid skunk. My skunk. Yeah, my character's invisible right now. Don't worry. It was just so a better a better view of the, the skunk destruction. Yeah, our character will populate here in a second. So this is another location where you could do the gold panning. This is one of the locations we showed off in the, the video earlier today. Before we do that, 
Let's make sure it's actually loaded. Of course, it's not loaded now. <sighs> okay. I'll show something off. So they moved it and freaking broke something. Maybe I'll try and fill it up with water real quick. Whatever they did while messing with stuff, broke it. It was working perfectly fine all day, and then of course I go to stream and it's not working. So frustrating. Yeah, whatever they did. They did something to it. Alright. Well, I'll go commit a robbery then. Who doesn't love robbing stuff? Is that a dog chasing me? Oh, jeez. Not today, hombre. Not today. Let's see if we can rob the Strawberry General Store. Can we rob this one? <laughs> there we go. Oh. No, it should let me rob it. Do we have a sheriff on? Who's on? It says two, but we only need one. That must be... Okay, yeah, that's not one of the sheriffs. Captain Johns is, I think, the only sheriff that we have. Then there's Nate, who might be uh, around at some point. I'll see if Captain Johns pops on later, and then we'll go from there. Let's go pick up a horse. Can you rob a bank? Yeah, you can, uh, you can rob... We can rob the Rhodes Bank. We're going to try that once one of our sheriffs logs on. So, Captain Johns, if you're still around and you want to pop on, we can test the Rhodes Bank robbery again. I don't, know, I don't want to buy a horse. I want to take the horse that I have out. Move it, chickens! I sound a lot like me, and that's who exactly I sound like. Me. Not anybody else. Just me. Um... What time it is? So it looks like it's gonna be nighttime. We can go show off the. I kind of want to rob the Rhodes Bank. I don't know if uh, Captain Johns is back on though. I'm on, but you may have to reassign as sheriff. Um. Okay. Flash that job. Um. What's your number? I can. I should be able to set as a job. Set him as a sheriff and then rob some banks. So right now, um, a lot of it is text-based, but we will have a voice chat. Um, job. Sheriff. Okay. Yeah. We'll see if we can do it with, uh, with Nate on. Surprise! Thank you for the super chat. How you doing? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have started the robbery. Now, basically what we need to do is not get caught within the next 33 seconds. We can defend ourselves if somebody decides to try and enter in here. We can also move away from this, typically. Um, I'm just going to wait here. Because if they come through this door, then I can just pop them in the face. And if they can come through that door, I've got a little bit of cover. I think we're going to get away with this one, though. Oh, shit, maybe not. 
Okay, okay, okay. It's cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> Where'd he go? I didn't get I didn't get arrested. Nice. Oh geez, we made a lot of money from that. Okay. Oh. I don't think that was one of the sheriffs. <laughs> Guy came in hot. I didn't even see him. All right, so um, we made a couple hundred from that. I was, well, let's go to the Rhodes Bank. I want to see if we can rob it. Last time we tried to live stream, we tried to rob the Rhodes Bank, and it didn't end up working. Actually, before we leave, I'll see if they restarted the script. See if it works. Nope. Okay. Oh, I think that's Captain Jones. That's one of them. I'm, I'm out of here. See if I get lassoed. Headed to Rhodes, though. Alright, I don't think they're coming after me yet. So when you actually rob something, it'll show up. It'll alert everybody in the area that something is, is being robbed, and it'll show up on the mini-map and the main map. Uh, where exactly the robbery is taking place so that any sheriffs in the area can actually take action. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, why is my admin menu not popping up now? Okay. Eh, people keep changing stuff. Alright. Um, to Rhodes we go! Perfect night for a robbery. We'll see if we can find some good animals to sell along the way as well. I think this is going to be the yeah the fastest way probably. Uh, so before the last time we live streamed on the server, the um, we had it so that there was real time, so time passed exactly how it would be in real life. So that's why it was permanently nighttime when we were streaming last time. But we don't have that on anymore. Just because it's, uh... Most of the people get to play at nighttime, and nobody likes playing at nighttime on this game, so it was kind of just a, a waste at that point. Let's see here, we need some water too. Some agua! Need more water than that. There we go. Man, nobody reads titles, do they? I don't even know why I put titles anymore. I'm just going to put dicks, 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 dicks in titles from now on. See what happens. <clears throat> Ooh, you know what we can show off? Let's go do this real quick. This is exciting. George G, what's going on? How you doing today? Please don't hit a tree, please don't hit a tree, please don't hit a tree. Playing one-handed. Come on, give me a three-star animal. One of these. Need to make some moolah. A uh, two-star. Hey, Colton, how are you doing? Are you back from your trip now? Do you know how I've been talking about how, for the longest time, I wanted to have, like, an underground boxing place where you could become a boxer and gamble and bet on fights and stuff like that? Well, guess what we can do now? Take a wild guess. It's not, not, it's not technically underground. We only have one location for it right now, but I gotta scout some other locations. Um... I've been saying we needed this for, like, the longest time. And it's exactly what we can do. You turn the gamma up! I'm busy. Are there sheeps in the fighting area? 
Um, so, so you can go up to this area and you can um, enter for a bet. So there's 5, 10, 25, 50, and 100. Now, when you do this, somebody else can join in the in the fight and you can fight against each other. Which we've actually got somebody here to do that. I don't know if they're going to join in or not. If they don't join in, then you're going to fight an NPC. And the NPC's difficulty is going to be dictated by the uh, level... Yes, let's do this. Yes. Uh, 100? <laughs> Alright, so we've got a... We got a fight for a hundred bucks. We just changed the bid, so he's going into one corner. I'm gonna go into this corner, and we're gonna join the fight. If I win, I get... Did I get the 200 bucks already? That's, that's not how it's supposed to fight. There we go. Uh... Who's fighting? Who's fighting the NPC? I guess it's him. I guess we're gonna watch him fight. <laughs> oh god! My fight's starting now. Oh god! <laughs> we were supposed to fight each other, but I think I think I messed something up. All right. So the the NPCs are much more advanced than your typical NPC fighters. They're gonna have more health, more stamina. And they're going to be better at counterattacking and uh, finding your openings as well. So it's going to take a little while to actually be able to defeat this guy, and you don't have a lot of health. Oh wait, we got to move away from this other guy. I don't want to accidentally like strangle him. Look at the goats! Got him in the kidney, baby. So right now, this is about as difficult as a uh, as an NPC is going to get. So I'm curious to see if we can actually take him out or not. I got to get him to a fence so I can knock him into the fence. Got to get them kidney shots, baby. <laughs> I like that the sheep are just like, this is crazy. Oh, nice freaking haymaker there, baby. Woo! Get him. Oh, it's on! Come on, smash a skull in. So also, uh, choking isn't allowed in the boxing maxes, matches. If you choke, you suck. And you'd lose. Oh, jeez, he got me with a haymaker. Or an uppercut, rather. Bleed him. <laughs> Mark, thank you for the super chat. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, 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 he's getting me. We can't let him hit us anymore. Ugh! Go down, hombre! Uh-oh. God, he's got so much health. Like fighting somebody with golden cores. There we go. That was a little bit of a cheating headbutt, but we'll, we'll let it fly this time. All right, we just got a block now. Try and, oh! With the counter! My freaking arm's going numb. <laughs> From having to hit block so much in attack. Ah! There we go. Come on! This is for a hundred bucks! A lot of money back in the Dizay. There we go. Nice combo! Ah! Come on! We left the ring! Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He almost got me. Gotta get back in the ring. I just want to smash his head into this pole. Oh! Oh, I got him right in the neck. Ah! Come on. Go to sleep! Yeah! Got him! <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was way too close. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I don't want to do 
it again! I mean, I do, but not with not enough health. We got people all over the place. Hold on. Oh, we can't pull out our guns in here. That's that's smart. It's better than Tyson Holyfield. Oh, no. Oh, it teleports you right back in. <laughs> so I wonder what's happening is because I'm using a controller if I'm accidentally hitting enter on it more than I... Yep, that's exactly. Enter to leave... Yep, so it's using, um, it's registering my controller input, so it keeps making more fights. <laughs> All my money's going away! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So this is why we gotta test things, you know? So now we know that it's register. Oh, jeez, 2v1! Oh, come on! Button chops, McGee! Oh, there we go. Now it's 1v1. And he pulled out a gun. Yeah, I won $10. <laughs> Alright. We're good. I'm gonna let myself die. I think I'm thirsty. I'm tired. I'm dehydrated. I'm probably hungry. What's my health at? Yikes. <laughs> I wonder if I if I drink or eat anything, is it gonna refill my core? No. That's unfortunate. Alright. Uh, see if we can get this to work again. Let's change the bed. We'll put it at 50. He's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> so when you do the smoking cigarette animation, you actually have to finish the cigarette before you can move. Alright, let's see here. Press enter to join the fight. I just automatically won the 100 bucks. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Let's just, let's just fight. Oh god. I missed! Oh Jesus. Block! Tag! Block! You fool! A little blow of the belt. <laughs> Block! <laughs> Block! Do something that involves blocking! Get me right in the ear. Oh, God! <laughs> Right in the face. So we need to add a script that actually knocks you out rather than kills you. So when you do the boxing matches, you don't actually die. How do you refill the cores on the server? Uh, currently, the only way to refill the core is by death. Which, obviously, things are going to be added. Tonics are not going to be in the game. I kind of like not having them. Oh, dude, that guy just got effed up. <laughs> Absolutely love the longer fights. It's definitely it's definitely a lot funner having the longer fights. Uh, let's go to Rhodes. See if we can do that Rhodes bank robbery. Gonna try and rob the bank. Wow, there's no explosive ammo. We've removed everything that's bad about Red Dead Online. <laughs> or have not at least not added it. No explosive ammo. No freaking tonics. No ability cards. None of that stupid stuff. Hello, doggo. 
Who's a good boy? Oh, uh, uh, did you guys fix it already? Uh, fix the bug with the fighting? Or are you just working on it? Alright, let's see what happens here. I do have dynamite. Now, last time I tried this, I couldn't actually get into the, uh... Wait, am I tabbed in? Yeah. This is going to be a big-ass explosion. So we're just going to... We're going to hide a little bit. There we go. Look how pretty. So let's see if we can crack the safe. Last time I tried this, it didn't actually crack the safe. But you can see how the process is going to work. Left, right arrow. Oh! So we actually have to crack it. That's why I couldn't get it to work before. Oh, that's cool. I haven't gotten this far with the bank robber yet. Now the question is, how do we know when we, when we crack it? Wait, did we do it or did we fail? I think we failed. So it's hard but possible. Well, that's good. Wait, did I do it? Interesting. Oh god, I did! Look at all that money I just got! So, the, so it doesn't actually open, but you just get a metric buttload of money. We, we got like $2,500 for that. So it's just a matter of getting it cracked. Nope, didn't get it that time. I guess, um, so the sheriff, one of the sheriffs is out there. They can, uh, they can send me to jail. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, they're just watching. <laughs> Stop in the name of the damn law. I have stopped in the name of the law. Let's see if he, if he sends me to jail. Sends me to prison. You gonna send me to prison? Present? <laughs> Question mark. Just trying to feed my family. <laughs> I didn't realize they were just right behind me, just watching. <laughs> uh, two. So let's see if he handcuffs me. I don't know if Captain Johns knows how to handcuff me yet. Oh, yep, he handcuffed me. Alright, so now he has the option to send me to prison. Or we can they can actually put me in a jail cell. I got some money though. We'll see if he puts me in the road roads jail or sends me to the Sisiska. I think he's trying to figure it out. Why did nobody shout 5 0? Nah, they, they could take the money too. I think. Captain Johns, you're, you're still not the sheriff?
writing the judgment. <laughs> there we go. Ten years in federal prison. This is the Red Dead. Uh, so he's showing off all the things that you can do. So you can do uh, different types of emotes that'll show above your head. Just as the sunrise is coming up, too. Alright, so he sent me to prison. So what you can do um, is you can set the time limit that somebody is going to be put into prison for. Um, so if they do something rather bad on the server, you'll get sent to the penitentiary. All the doors are locked, you can't get out. And, uh... And it'll even tell you the reason why you were sent to jail. Now, at some point, I would like to add things that can happen in jail. Like, things that you can do. Even, maybe, even planning an escape for those longtime convicts. Uh, so I got a lot of work to do for the prison. But right now, it's just that you're just a prisoner. I'd like to add, like, mini games and stuff like that that you can do. Like, maybe even, like, loading, like, wagons and doing, like, deliveries and stuff inside of the prison. Washing clothes, uh, maybe even working out in the fields or something like that until you can actually uh, be released or escape. Hair growth isn't possible. At least not with what we have. And basically once our time is up, we're going to get released and we'll have the option to respawn back on the map. Yeah, uh, one thing that I would like to have changed is um, the ability to uh, have it automatically unhandcuff you when you get sent to prison, but I don't know if that's uh, something that's possible, since it's typically what would have to happen is they'll have to un unhandcuff you before they send you there. That way you can be not handcuffed. What is going on here? Oh, there's a copper here. This is just a, a glitched out. Uh, texture is all. There we go. And now we can go back to our, uh, whatever we were doing. But currently we're still handcuffed. <laughs> so I need somebody to unhandcuff me. There we go. Perfect. Tag, wouldn't you just exit the game if arrested? You could, but the whole point of R... So there's a whole bunch of rules that go into RP. If you break the rules, then eventually you're just going to end up getting banned. Um, so RP has a whole rule system uh, and way of playing. And when you, when you log back in, it'll put you back into jail. So if you log out because you went to jail, you just, and if, if you just don't want to play, then yeah, you can, you can log out. But you're going to get put back in jail depending on how long you were in. So I assume once the timer's up when you log back in, then you can respawn. So if somebody puts you in for a couple days, then you just can't play for a couple days if you want. Uh, but yeah, so that's the, the jail system. Current, and it's at its current point. Oh, yeah, my horse isn't going to come here. Where's the stables here? Is there stables in Rhodes? I don't think there is. Timer runs only if you're online. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> so if you get set to jail, sent to jail, you can't just burn that time offline. You have to, turn, to burn it online. That's amazing. That's why we need to add actual things to do at the jail. There's no escape from the law. It's perfect. Well, the sheriffs and bounty hunters work together. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you want to play as a lawful person, you can do a citizen's arrest, take it to a sheriff, and um, and all that fun stuff. Uh, let's see here. So we've got the, the farming role starts here. And we have to go down to the Braithwaite Manor to actually do that. Uh, but Lucian, thank you for the super chat. 
I need to find my horse. Where did it go? That's not the menu that I wanted. Um, but stream's dying out, so let's go ahead and stream something else. I know my community only wants to watch Red Dead, but then they also don't want to watch Red Dead anymore, so let's go play something else. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a preview of what's going on with the server. Uh, we're going to play a different game now. Just kind of wanted to showcase some things that we didn't get to do in the last stream. And since the stream's dying out, we're going to go play a game that's really fun. <laughs> Not, but I am having a blast with the, the Red Um server. I can't wait to actually open it up so people can play on it and we can start getting things going. Uh, if you did enjoy this shorter Red M stream, just showcasing some of the stuff, then uh, make sure to hit that like button. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.